Today is the 29th of March 2023. I'm currently 19 weeks pregnant. Today we are going to Ikea and we're going to do a little browse shop for all the nursery stuff. I know it's very early but we're just going to have a look and whatever we see that we like we just get delivered and we're also going to get some storage cubes for a big quad storage thing that we already have that's in the summer house right now we're also going to go for lunch and browse around the other shops we're going to nottingham yes we are woo woo let's go road trip. to ikea road trip making a quick smoothie for breakfast to take with so it's almond milk banana strawberries chia seeds flax seeds and a dollop of peanut butter probiotic every morning before food and smoothie Also have one crumpet with butter and peanut butter because you know this will not fill me up. Let's be real. My favourite bit of Ikea. The bargain corner. Ah. Oh, it is quite nice. Although I don't want any more grey in the house. Yeah, that is a good deal. Oh my. What's this green thing? Hello. Is that a stool? Oh, it's a coffee table. Hmm. Love that. Oh, these are the things I was looking for. These are the things I'm looking for, yeah, but there's only two. That's fine, you'll get two on reduced and the rest will go. So I guess we get them all white then instead of wood. Okay, so we've been to the bargain corner, but before we shop, we are eating. So we've got meatballs, Dan's got meatballs with chips and peas, and I've got chicken schnitzel with katsu sauce on the side, raspberry, lemonade, and was it longberry? Lingonberry. Lingonberry. And then we've got this to share for dessert. No, Dan will probably eat most of it, won't you? Oh, rhubarb and custard cake. Yum. How's that? Really like it. Quite sick. Yeah. I'm going to be honest right here. I think... I'm going to be honest. I think IKEA food is overrated. I didn't enjoy it. The rice was bland. I wish I got chips. I had some of Dan's chips. But I left it. Mm, the chicken was nice, but like nothing special. I didn't like enjoy it. It was just substance. I don't know what you wanted by that. I don't know what I wanted. I made the wrong decision. But to be honest, I don't think I want to eat here again. It's the first time I've eaten. I've eaten the hot dog bit. But overrated in my opinion okay let's shop okay we just started walking around really love this light 
much. Just turn it down a bit. Like a mushroom vibe. £35. Really like this vibe with the woods. It looks better when the lights are down. There we go. That's better. Oh no. It's a nice setup. This is the vibe that Dan may want for his office. Inspo. Slip. He likes this light over here. Hmm. Yeah, I like this vibe for you. I could see it. And then also like the plants look really nice against the black. No, don't you think? Mm. I like this vibe. You've got to make the lighting right though to make it look good. This is a potential cot bed that we might buy. So this is what it looks like as a cot. And then when they're older, take the sides off. And it's got a nice storage drawer, which I really like. And I really like the bars. Swirly whirly. It's a nice background as well. <laughs> Yeah, I like the curve. It says it's got two adjustable levels. What does it mean? Mm. There's another cot over here with a drawer. And the round panel sides. It's quite a nice one. Got a cloud light. The wild Anquisi sleeps in the IKEA with a pregnancy pillow she's testing out. How is it, my love? Now in next home, love this sofa, love the colour, love the shape, is it comfortable, is it comfy, oh it's like a cloud, that's a nice chair to go with it, we should have gotten this one. Oh my god it is an actual cloud. Really nice, it's so soft. That's quite nice too. This is the rocker I won, but it's expensive. <laughs> I really like that's the kind of vibe I want. The colour, isn't it soft? This is a nice Moses basket as well. It rocks. Mm, I like this wallpaper. What do you think? It's cozy. The little cloud shelves. They're nice drawers. The little chain. Hello, hello, welcome to another activity. Today we are painting, let me show you what we're painting. So today we're painting these two bits of wood. Um, these are from the fireplace in the dining room. And if you know from the vlog before, we've had some issues with bees. The bees have now gone, hallelujah, praise the Lord. But now we are left with these very dirty 
white pieces of wood. I painted these white when we moved in, so nearly two and a half years ago now. So I thought I'd just give them a nice refresh. They're gonna look so bright, it's gonna make such a difference. Also, I bought these mushroom stalls, aren't they incredible, from TK Maxx, and they were on sale at 18 pound each down from 45 each, I believe. Really excited. So the plan is to just paint the shrooms white and then let, when it's dry later on, I'll probably paint a nice pastel pattern on them. Um, we're not gonna be using them for stalls because I don't think they're strong enough they are strong enough but not as they're not strong enough really to sit on so we'll probably use them as side tables or plant stands yeah that's the plan i'm just going to paint all of this white for now and then we have a nice blank canvas let's go i'm going to start with the wood for the dining room because that is probably the bigger priority i don't have too much paint, probably like that much. Um, so paint the wood and then hopefully I have enough for at least one stall and then I get some more paint. Let's get going, I'm gonna put a video on and enjoy the time. finished result of the stall. I'm happy with it so I'm just using it as a side table at the moment which I really like. I'm not sure, really sure if it goes well with the sofa just because it's a bit higher but it's good for like a side table for drinks and snacks and stuff. Um, so yeah I'm just gonna leave that one white. I haven't painted the other one yet because I ran out of paint. I needed like four layers on this stall and then three layers on the wood, which I'm gonna show you now. But yeah, very happy with it. And I think the other store, I'm gonna decorate really colorful pastel vibes. But I'm not sure what to do with it yet. That's what it looks like. Let me show you the dining room. So here's the finished result of the wood in the dining room. I don't know if you remember how bad it was. I didn't show you where it was here. But it was pretty dirty, now it looks really bright and white. Love it. Yeah, it makes such a difference in here. I've got some fresh spearmint tea from the garden. I just harvested the spearmint, so I put some fresh stuff in my tea. And then, at the moment, as we speak, I am dehydrating the spearmint in the dehydrator love 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 so then I put it in a jar right here because I ordered this spearmint from Amazon but it's absolutely awful so I'm gonna throw that away and replace it with the good fresh stuff love it I wish you can smell it it's just so fresh but yeah that is the update so a few weeks back, um, we had a specialist, a bee specialist come in and remove all of the bees. We've had a bee problem 
for about two years now. They were all coming down this chimney, going straight to the door because it's light and then they just die. And there was a lot of them and it was a problem. Um, it was a big job. We had to get scaffolding and the bee specialist to come around and it wasn't cheap, but it needed to be removed for safety reasons, especially because babies coming along and I mean, me and Dan stung ourselves like three times over the years. So yeah, I cannot believe they're gone. It's crazy. It's just so clean now. We don't have to hoover after them every day. So I'm gonna show you some clips now of the bee guy removing the bees. And Dan also went out to have a look. <laughs> Come quick, babe, look! Aqua! I really am trying to film some kind of workout for you guys, um, but to be honest, my motivation and energy has not been the best the past couple of weeks, but I feel like it's getting better again. So, yes, the reason why I haven't uploaded dance workouts is because, one, my energy is not how it used to be obviously but it's not just that it's just because of the copyright music it's just very frustrating to be honest like i put so much effort into downloading the music doing the choreography filming it editing it uploading it and then boom youtube decides to take it down because the music's copyright and then it just blocks it and it's really frustrating and yes i do put it on patreon but if i'm going to make the video i want it on both platforms you know and i just do the extended for patreon but i will try and get back into it and i hopefully will maybe use some non-copyright music just so we can get some movement in and a bit of motivation i also want to film some workouts just for me in a selfish way just because it would be cool to look back on with my bump and to see how i've grown through this journey and yeah i will be back soon with some workouts but for now honestly i'm mostly going to be doing some vlogs maybe some sit down videos and yeah just my life because that's what i'm enjoying right now so i hope you're enjoying if you're not then i'm sorry but i'm gonna keep going <laughs> and yeah i hope you're all having a great week summer's coming it's still raining lots here but at least it's light out at least it's warm and feeling positive for the months ahead thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one